But we begin here tonight with breaking news on the manhunt for this man. Investigators say he's now connected to six murders in Metro Detroit. Investigators from all around the area are working around the clock trying to get Kenyon Brown off the streets. There is a $10,000 reward now offered to help police catch the man who is armed and considered very dangerous. Tonight they have connected him to a sixth murder. This one in Highland Park He is also connected to two murders in Detroit. Three others in River Rouge. Coco McAvoy is live outside Detroit Police Headquarters. Coco, I understand there's a pattern that investigators are tracking. Yes, that's right. The U.S. Marshals say that he is befriending people at places like gas stations. And in the Highland Park murder, police say he left behind some items that allegedly tied him to that scene. Hey, a packed vigil along Eight Mile in Detroit, outside of the shop where Amir Thaxton was shot and killed Thursday night. To see him change from where he started from, to have him taken now, it's a blow to our family that we don't even understand. Malika Akbar says her cousin was a good man and a father to three children. Amir was goofy, funny, playful, silly. He loved everybody. The U.S. Marshals believe Kenyell Brown might be responsible for Thaxton's murder. He's either the person of interest or a suspect in now six homicides. It's somebody who's obviously on some kind of crime spree. We need to stop it. That crime spree has allegedly taken Brown to River Rouge, Detroit, and Highland Park, finding victims along the way. We know that he's befriend befriending people, you know, at gas stations, you know, on the street. And, you know, he's he, he don't really have money. He has a weapon on him. Uh, he's violent. Multiple agencies are working together to catch him. We have a joint task force with several agencies working around the clock. Thaxton's family doesn't know why he would be targeted, but they want answers. I won't stop until we know. And the U.S. Marshals won't stop until Brown is arrested. And again, there is a $10,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. And if you do see him, make sure to call police. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. All right, thanks, Coco.